this YCS taught me something. People really dislike this format. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button where I randomly pull these things out of my ass, according to the comment section, and I uh, have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about uh, when we read um, people's complaints about the format. So let, let's let's talk about the, the Millers out here. Um, I don't think there's a single soul in the game right now that looks at the Millers that here are playing, and they're going, yep, yeah, those are fine, you know, they're not a problem. Um, anybody? Anybody? Nah, um, people are so sick of tear at this point in time. Like, it, it's actually kind of crazy to me. Um, and just reading, like, half of these comment sections from people, they're like, yeah, just ban tear and get it out of the way. I think tear in the state in the TCG is a lot more fair than what the OCG had to deal with, but it's just the snowball that the deck gets around to that really, you know, just pushes people out. So it, what's very interesting is, um, sub note here, you know, everybody is dishappy with the current format with a lot of different things here. But the thing is, once you remove these things from the equation, the, the diversity tower is going to come crumbling down, you know, like... If you remove tier from the equation, there's not really another deck that kind of steps up to replace it. And don't get me wrong, that's that's not a bad thing. I mean, if tier goes away, that does allow things to kind of shift around a little bit. I, I think that's a good thing for the most part, but you you really have to understand that, you know, having three best decks between, uh, my personal opinion, between like Unchained, Rescue Ace, and Tier. I mean, obviously, you know, things will adjust. You know, one event, one will be worse. And, eh, it's neither here nor there. It's just, man, people are really upset with the Millers. And I don't know. Um, on the subtopic of the Shufflers, so the ones that shuffle back the multiple cards, um, I also hear rabble, rabble, rabble from people. They're like, get them out of here. But the, pr the problem is, is... Honestly, once you remove the Millers from the, the, the game, Mudora and, what is it, Keldo, become side deck cards in very niche decks. And and I, I have another video I want to, I'll go way more in depth with this. But it's just, it's a snowball effect right now. People are so pissed off at the random RNG that is tier and stealing these random victories from them in, you know, situations that they feel like they could have done something. Trust me, I've seen it, all right? I've seen plenty of people rage quit. Um, I mean, this this part's a no-brainer. So a lot of people are upset by association that the Millers are just insane, so the Shufflers are also insane, but realistically, I think the, the Shufflers are fine. So another subtopic here for today. Holy crap! The amount of people that are upset it is sold is insane! Holy crap! So, uh, you remember the last time we talked about a sold on a video? I have my comment section literally around, you're stupid. Alright, a sold does not deserve to be banned. The other half of people are like, no, no, the sold should probably be banned, you know? Like, the card is enabled, what, like, how many FTKs, how many OTKs throughout the years? And, oh, I am the stupid idiot for looking at a sold and going, yeah, uh-huh. You should probably go. I understand that is sold is the only thing keeping Warrior Toolbox decks together. I understand that. But holy shit! When you look at how degenerate a sold actually is as a card, like, I don't understand. Like, oh boy, you know, sure, a sold allows you to play equip cards in your deck that you normally wouldn't be playing. Look at Phoenix. You know, I'm, I'm honestly, I, I might be a little bit more fine. For a soul to stick around, maybe if we do something to Divine Sword Phoenix Blade, all right? Maybe, maybe, just maybe, Divine Sword Phoenix Blade should have been banned like it was in the OCG a long time ago. I don't know. But I can tell you, after watching the YCS this weekend, the amount of people that are... I understand, like, we, we see a lot of mob mentality in this game. And, you know, a lot of people will just, you know, yell at things just to yell at them, but... There's there's a genuine distaste floating around in the community right now for this. And once again, you can be on the camp that, you know, sold is fine in the current vacuum of power creep, or, you know, a sold should have been banned an eternity ago, and what are we actually doing at this point in time? Like this this all this all kind of culminates together 
with, I think, how diverse the game actually is right now. Now, diversity does spawn a lot of upset -y people because, one, there are too many decks running around in the room. We know this, right? Like, I, I, there are 20 stupid decks that you can, like, rogue out and, like, do fine with. But the problem is, is when you, when you start to run into these matchups that are a lot more degenerate, like, you know, good old power up of uh, his sold, good old Millers on the tier elements, you know, you see a lot more of this RNG bullshit that really, really upsets people. And that's, that's a genuine complaint about the game. Um, I, I know people really want this game to be a zero sum, full skill, zero luck variance type of game. I, I hear you. I do. All right. But the problem is, is that's not going to happen right now. The problem, you know, sitting around all of this is you have too much RNG right now in the format. Um, people are sick of the same. That's another thing that is kind of wearing on Yu-Gi-Oh! at the moment. With the diversity kind of comes the same notion of it's the same shit different day. And I, I really, I love the diversity. I love how many decks are present in this game. But when you've been rolling up to your locals and, you know, you took a three-month break, you come back and you see the same shit. You're like, I'm taking another three-month break. You come back, you see the same shit. Things aren't fundamentally changing with that, you know, scope of things. Like, as you bring balance to the game and more of these decks kind of do the thing and you don't power creep things i mean we are seeing power creep it's it's sprinkling in um i would say probably february next year you'll see year of the fire just dominating things for sure all right but if konami is going to leave these cards that people are viewing as annoying problem cards i don't blame people for being upset can you um, and it, it really takes some of the fun out of, like, watching these these major events. When you obviously see the mob mentality starting to go, yeah, they should have banned this a long time ago. Yeah, you know, screw X deck. Like, this is terrible. I get it. I, I get you want things to be different. I get that. And that's fine. All right. Um, but this all comes in the, the cycle of Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, people don't want to see Tier 0 formats. But tier zero formats breed, you know, higher competitive play and more decks to shine. But then when you're in a vacuum of everything kind of has a chance to win, then you kind of experience the same. That's just the same, you know. So right now, I think we are, I, I do wholeheartedly think the game is in a renaissance right now. I think having all of these different decks doing their thing is a good thing. I think the issue, though, is is we've stuck around for too long. Konami needs to make some sort of list that creates a huge change, something that gets people excited. You know, you you have to shake things up and twist and turn the power creep of things. And I mean, at this point in time, I'm down to see Thunder Dragon Colossus come back and to see Harp Horror come back. At one, I want to see people experiment with these ideas. If you've already got, you know, 20 decks floating around, screw it. Let's bring back some of the old stuff and see it float on into the, 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 the road category. All right, let's you can change up the road category all day long. I would rather have 25 to 30 viable decks than 20. At least, you know, you broaden the scope of things here and it allows for more of that change. And I think that would be good. But for now, I agree with everything. Format's actually dog water. Um, the Millers are absolutely the worst. I'm fine with the Shufflers sticking around. Uh, Engage could probably come back to three. Thunder Dragon Colossus can come back to one. Uh, Fiber Jar's not coming back off the list. No, Konami's not bringing back last turn. That was the funniest thing I've ever read on the internet. Somebody would be like, oh yeah, you can just PSCT, you know, last turn. Have you read the rulings for last turn? Go read the rulings page for last turn. If you really do think that it's okay for last turn to come back, Honk Honk, that's the name of the game. Honk Honk, <laughs> I'm a clown. Yeah, that's my new profession. Yeah, last turn's coming back, totally. You guys have a good rest of your day, right? Patrons!
Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.